Hey everybody, after diving into the favorite peptide of Joe Rogan, comedian, podcaster, UFC commentator, it was realized that BPC-157, our favorite body protection compound, has a world of things going on in and of itself. So as promised, we're going to do a zoomed in video on the many different components of BPC-157, starting with the research behind wound healing. So my favorite part about this channel is people sharing their own experiences with peptides and diving into the fascinating research behind them. That said, I get a lot of questions about sourcing, like where to get peptides and dosing, which is understandable. Um, I my, myself am curious about the safest sources to purchase these research peptides from. And you know, that said, many of them are not FDA approved and pretty experimental in nature. And so I can't really safely especially on YouTube, give recommendations as to where to buy these peptides recreationally. And I can't really tell you that much in terms of dosing, like how much of X peptide should I get to get Y results? You know, a lot of this is up in the air and a lot of human clinical trials I think are still needed. That said, I'm happy to kind of share how much of a peptide is used uh, in a certain research study or a clinical trial, I'm more than happy to look into that for you. Um, so just don't hesitate to reach out. And as always, please like and subscribe. I love making these videos and communicating with all of you. Um, it's the only way to support the channel, and so I appreciate it. So, quick review. So some background. BPC is body protection compound. It's involved in many different physiologic processes and its hallmark is recovery and regeneration. It's a gastric pentadecapeptide, so found in stable gastric juices, that's composed of 15 amino acids, and there's oral, topical, and injectable forms, and pretty interestingly, although it is experimental and not approved in humans, it's banned by WADA, World Anti-Doping. So... Wound healing. Wound healing is a really interesting process and actually super important because there's so many implications, right? It's a pretty remarkable process by which tissue is replaced and it involves different stages and recruitment cells and is very important in fixing any type of injury, really from small abrasions to larger lacerations to extensive burns. And the body's ability to heal itself can be compromised by a bunch of different factors. And a bunch of, you know, all these different steps in healing itself can be compromised too. Um, but some of the things that do this are like smoking, certain disease processes like diabetes, infections, medication use, age. So if a peptide shows promise in helping wound healing, that would... I think be pretty amazing. So let's take a look at this research. So, you know, I cited the three biggest sources I use, just kind of their links right here, bottom right hand corner. Um, you know, I'm happy to kind of review them in particular with you or what certain things mean if anyone's interested. Um, that's that they were really cool. Um, so it seems like in these animal studies, every component of healing is accelerated and more advanced than in control groups and from additional vessel recruitment and angiogenesis like new blood vessel formation uh, to counteraction of prolonged bleeding and bleeding disorders like there's really cool interesting and promising things going on here rare things uh, the biggest caveat of P B bpc trials is the fact that these studies albeit remarkable, are on rodents. And I think what we need are some human trials because the implications of improved wound healing is not only great for healthcare, you know, where chronic medical conditions decrease the body's ability to heal itself, but also for general treatment of injuries and prevention of infection. So as far as human clinical trials go, um, I think so far it's been proven to be a re relatively safe compounds. I'm pretty sure... It's being involved in some clinical research on multiple sclerosis and uh, all sort of colitis, but 
there's more to be done and I'm looking forward to seeing what this particular research shows. So let's just go into real quick what I found on these rodent studies. So in mice, accelerated extensive burn wound healing. So it was like 20% of the body was burned. Advanced healing in excisional wounds in diabetic rats. Healing of multiple different types of fistulas. Um, so fistulas are like abnormal or surgically created connections or paths. So between two tubular organs or an organ and a body surface. So they're usually named kind of by the, the two different tubes that they connect. Like tracheocutaneous would be um, the trachea to skin. Esophagocutaneous, the esophagus to skin. There's duodenocutaneous, colon to skin, colon to bladder, rectovaginal, and remarkably, BPC-157 healed these and accelerated um, the rate at which they healed and restored to normal function. Um, there's also really interestingly counteracting of prolonged bleeding and thrombocytopenia, which is um, low levels of platelets in rats. So after amputation, um, so, you know, removal of body part and heparin use, which further thins the blood. So that's pretty cool. Quicker bypassing of blood flow in rats with large venous occlusions. So upon kind of clipping shut large veins, um, the rats had an ability to, I guess, find, um, you know, more efficient paths of blood flow, rapid hematoma formation in rats with a tibial diaphysis fracture, so indicating quicker healing, profound angiogenic effects in rats with ischemic colitis, so in rats with pretty much death of bowel tissue, um, the ability to restore and create new blood vessels, um, and accelerated alkali burn healing in rats, which is also pretty cool. Um, so as we can see, there's a lot going on here, and you know it's really cool to read this research just because it's so well documented and like incredibly fascinating. So upcoming videos, as promised, these were the three you know more particular ones we're making on BPC one five seven, wound healing, musculoskeletal, and nervous system. So stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day, my friends.